All right, here we go. We got the Zarconian Destroyer going on a B64. And here we go. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is on a B64. Nice. And we got parachute out. Very good. Coming down. Coming down, coming down. See him up there pretty good. Coasting real nice. There he is. Let me get in on him like that. There we go. Coming down, just hanging there. Vintage 1980s rocket. Part of the, you know, sci-fi collection. Some of my favorite ones, the exotic starships and all that stuff. Taking his nice time coming down. Gently, gently. Nice, that is good, man. Coming down, touching down. There we have it, guys. That was cool. That was textbook. Good start to the day of the Zarconian Destroyer out here on this gravel. So if you get a little something breaking, I mean, we see why on this gravel. It's not packed, but it's definitely some gravel in the desert. But that was a nice, that was taking it sweet time coming down. So give me some bonus points for nothing breaking, please. All right, all good there. All good. Everything was reinforced. Nice. I mean, look at that. Probably not even a scratch. We got not even a scratch. Nice. Perfect. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice vintage parachute. That soft plastic. If you remember, SDZ is this. This is that soft, soft plastic. Not like this new, more crunchier stuff. But yeah, that was what you want right there. Is our Conan Destroyer doing its thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Textbook. I'll take it. Perfect. All right, so here we go. We got the star hauler after some misfires. So we're gonna start right now and we're gonna be going on a C63. Should get up there pretty good. Have altimeter running, so we'll have some data. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. And ejection just happened. Puff of smoke right over us. Yeah, he's up there pretty high. Start walking. Oh yeah, I might get a good walk. Hope he's yeah, hanging up there. But it's not a lot of breeze, so you never know. Okay, he's heading back this way now. Let's see what, we, what he's doing. Yeah, he's coming down back over for the most part. Now he's drifting back. Where do you want to go? You going towards the sun now? Interesting. What is he doing? Okay, heading back this way now. Oh yeah. Still in the area though. Right over me. I ain't had to move yet, so. Nice. All right. Coming down. Coming down. Yeah, he's hanging, like, hanging, hanging, like, right. Oh, yeah, he's back in the area. I mean, we're cool. This is good. And touchdown. Very good. Very good, back home. That was a great flight. Great flight. Moved, danced around up there a little while, danced around. So I got the altimeter. So I'm gonna get back over there and then we're gonna do altimeter reading. Very nice. Nice flight. Star hauler on a C63. Put him up, put it way up there. Can't wait to see that altitude. It's gonna be probably the highest one. Definitely was higher. Higher than the uh, Zarconian because Zarconian was only at a B64. But yeah, nice day, short walks. Getting a little warm, but not too bad. Falls around the corner. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. We had a top speed of 138 miles per hour for the star hauler. And we have uh, thrust times 1.94 seconds, almost two seconds of thrust. Then we move on. Peak acceleration was 11.6 Gs, so 11 Gs. 3.2 was the average. Let's see. Um, and coast phase of 3.5 seconds. And altitude should be next, I believe. Nope. Apogee Jackson was at um, negative 0 0.03 seconds. 502 feet. So it went 500 feet. That was the highest. Yeah, higher than the, uh, definitely higher than the Draconian Destroyer. But cool. So let's move on to the next. All right, guys. Here we go. We got the Mars Lander. The marvelous Mars Lander. The greatest ro model rocket of all time. And we are gone. And. No. 
All right, guys, here we go. After much trial and error, we should be going this time. Just having all kinds of issues with continuity today. I cut the clips off. They're all twisted on old school style. Got the marvelous Mars Lander, the greatest model rocket of all time about to go. And um, we're going to do this thing. Um, we're going to get this going and we're going to do it. Good day to be launching. Calm winds. Mars Lander, greatest model rocket of all time going on at C-5-3. We are going in five, four, Three, two, one. Whoa, arched over on the C53. Parachute, last minute parachute on the other side of that mountain. I'm taking a walk <laughs> and I will be right back. All right, here we go. We are coming up on the Mars lander. I see it landed. It's on its side, kind of arched over. And normally those C53s give them a nice straight boost, but this one gave him a little arch. Gave him a little arch on him. Ooh, I see some, did that break it? Oh no, a little parachute rip. I gotta switch to the nylon with this. I gotta stop playing with this phony baloney. But one of these rip, but it's still it's under parachute, so everything's all right here. Nothing's broken. All legs are good, let me check, yep. All legs are good, ejection happened. That delay, C53, that three seconds, seemed really quick, but we are all good, we are all in one piece. And this is the last flight of the day, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. This is Model Rockets 321 on a pretty nice day out here. Getting a little warm. It's October. The heat's still hanging on. Now it's a good flight. So, other than that rip parachute, which I will be replacing, it's Model Rockets 321, guys. Catch you on another video. And we are out. Stay tuned for the debriefing. We will look this stuff over and see what happens. All right, here we go. Welcome back to another debriefing. Had three flights, three great flights. Didn't go without trouble. I mean, all the launches were great overall for the most part. We're gonna start with this one and we will do a little discussion. So the Zarconian Destroyer, this 1980s design. I love this one so much. Like slowly becoming one of my favorites in the collection. Um, this Zarconian Destroyer is an alien ship of some sort. I love this writing they got here. Everything about this rocket speaks nostalgia and just coolness, exotic design, sci-fi design, whatever you want to call it. This nose cone has been around. You've seen this on the Voyager and even to this day, they're still putting this on some rockets. Um, there's another destroyer. I think it's called, I forget what I think it's the Zarconian something. There's another one, not the Zarconian destroyer, but there's another rocket out right now. It may be out of, um, out of uh, production now, but it has the same cone. But anyway, this one I flew on a B64 just to keep it low and slow so I could see what was going on. And it flew great, true and straight. Very little wind, so that is always a plus. So you don't have to worry about stuff drifting around on you. And just a great, great rocket to fly. Great, great day. Um, built perfectly. I, mean, I think I built this to perfection. The instructions showed, showed that you tuck these. Like, this was supposed to curve under. I think I mentioned that in another video. But to me, they supposed to lay just as I have them. I wasn't going to do that part of the instruction. Anyway, great flights. Can't complain about this one um, at all. Super fun. This will be back flying again. Great, great rocket. It wouldn't look nice displayed just like that too. Perfect. Great rocket. Next up, we have the Star Hauler Thrustline Aerospace Vintage Rocket. Out of production company. Small company on a... And I flew this one on a C63 get the owner's name he made some great stuff a lot of fun painted your way i had the altimeter in there i forget what the altitude was but it was a great flight nose cone yellow this red payload section is unique i've flown this one on this channel before great great rocket another fun one to fly out of production you cannot get that one last but definitely not least the greatest model rocket of all time of all rockets here's the leader right here the mars lander <laughs> I mean, it's debatable for sure, but to me it is. Just look at that design. It gets no better than this cool, cool design. Let me back off a little bit so we can see. Yeah, it gets no better than this cool design right here. This one have had some damage in repair. I actually, all this is, I had to cut this open and get in there so I could fix its landing gear. This, these are spring, lo spring loaded using like a silicone material. So one of them had cracked on a landing, the silicone broke. So I had to go in, cut it apart, get in there. I think I cut right here and I cut, I think down here and I took this piece out and um, got that repair done. And it's been flying ever since. Today was almost, 
It was on a C53. Let me check that to make sure. C53 to Super C. But it just arched over really weird. It wasn't a lot of wind. I've seen these go really straight. Then I've seen them get really weird and do some strange stuff. But it was pointing straight down that three seconds scene really long when ejection finally popped. Um, one of the shroud lines on the parachute ripped off. So that's enough for me. I'm going to be replacing that parachute with something else. I think Apogee has um, a neat parachute. I think they have a cool parachute over there with some striping and stuff. I'm going to have to look over there and see what they got. But this one came back um, in one piece. Everything's good. It's all you can ask for. As long as you don't nosedive and hit the ground on you, you are doing good. So this is the Simrock version. I do have the Estes one also, but that's just in my flyer. So I'm going to put some insignias there and some just having fun. Look like make it look like a real ship that would land on Mars. But yeah, that is today's debriefing, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, support any way you can. Super duper appreciate any support on the channel, use the SS discount code if all else fails. I had underscore 321. There's a donation link. I have a shop. Go there, support Model Rock stuff. And this is Model Rock 321, and I am out.